Welcome to this video. Today we'll draw a histogram step by step. This question is from the AHSEC 2024 HS second year final examination for the subject of education. Let's get started. Step 1. Understanding the question. First, let's understand the given data. We have class intervals 90 to 99, 80 to 89, 70 to 79, and so on, down to 10 to 19. Corresponding to these intervals, we have frequencies 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 7, 5, 4, and 2. This means we need to plot the frequencies as bars for each interval. Step 2. Preparing the axes. Next, we prepare the axes. The horizontal axis will represent the class intervals, starting from 90 to 99 on the left and ending with 10 to 19 on the right. The vertical axis will represent the frequencies, starting from 0 and going up to 12. Let's label them properly. Class intervals on the horizontal axis and frequency on the vertical axis. Make sure to leave enough space for labeling the intervals and plotting the bars. Step 3. Plotting the bars. Now, let's draw the bars. For the class interval 90 to 99, the frequency is 2, so we draw a short bar at height 2. For 80 to 89, the frequency is 4, so the next bar is slightly taller. Similarly, we plot bars for all intervals 70 to 79 at 6, 60 to 69 at 8, 50 to 59, the tallest bar at 12, then 40 to 49 at 7, 30 to 39 at 5, 20 to 29 at 4, and finally 10 to 19 at 2. Step 4. Enhancing the graph. Once all the bars are plotted, let's enhance the graph. Add grid lines to make it easier to read the frequencies. Label each bar with its frequency value above it for clarity. Finally, give the graph a title, histogram of class intervals and frequencies. Step 5. Final look. And here's the completed histogram. The tallest bar, representing 50 to 59, shows the highest frequency of 12, while the shortest bars show a frequency of 2. This visual representation makes it easy to analyze the data. That's how you draw a histogram step by step. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends to spread knowledge.